So now we come to the chakras. The tree of meaning, the chakras. The chakras as energy centers. But what I want to show is that they're just part of the tree of meaning, just another way of understanding the tree of meaning, the same as the Yi, the Kabbalah, in the five elements, so we have the chakras. So it's not a separate system. That is the delusion, the main problem. It's not a separate system. The primary thing to understand is this is the received teaching that we have received from the gurus and that we understand, you know, it's pre-verbal and we have a deep inner under understanding. So I want to show you how the, the chakras arise out of the ten dimensions. Here we have the ten dimensions. And on this chart with the senses and the antoptics. Now the chakras are the seven levels. Level one, the root chakra. Level two, the sexual chakra. And then where these two cross, the six and the seven, at this point, this is the pressure signal. This is the energy that flows through the navel center. The flow of things. In the Tai Chi Chuan, we lead with the stomach. This is the stomach, the navel center. At this point where these lines cross. So the, the root chakra is the body, is posture. <laughs> well, sexual, sexual chakra, you know, is, is the sexual energy of the body. So we're either male or female by the body we're in, not by, you know, our spirit. And then we have the flow of things, the flow of things, the objects that we pass through, the work we do, the feeling round for things and the building up of an inner inventory of all those objects. And then we have the heart chakra, the fourth level. Then we have the fifth chakra, which is where these two cross, the three and the four, the space time. The fifth chakra is is the voice, the throat chakra, the thyroid. Now with the throat chakra, we, we keep our word. We have a word, and basically at a simple level, we have a word to keep a time, to be at a certain place at a certain time. This is the function of the throat chakra. In music, you know, in the instant, there's a right time, in the right time, in the sound. You know, for the instruction from the voice. So this is the throat chakra. And then next we have the third eye, which is, which is now this is the auditory signal, the throat chakra is the auditory signal, the, the audio, the sound, the voice, the timing, following the sound, the echolocation. And then we go on to the video signal, the video signal, which is in the third eye, which is our inner mind, our imagination, our memory, you know, the cartoon image, you know, of our lives and the situations that we're in, that we use as our memories and that we, we imagine there in our third eye. And then finally, we have the seventh level, 
a thousand petal lotus, which is, you know, above the head, above the aperture of Brahma, the fontanelle, where is the self, you know, the, the source of energy, where the energy, the spirit energy comes into us, the dark energy, the prana. Now here we have the eye, the five is an eye, and that gives the rays entoptics, seeing stars, stars, the five-pointed star, you know, the golden mean, phi in the heart, the heart chakra, seeing, you know, the harmony, the good in each other. And from the eye, we see the, you know, the, the image, the video signal of moving surfaces. And it's this process, this process of seeing movement and surfaces that, that we learn, you know, wisdom and understanding. We, we have the knowledge, accumulated knowledge of different movements and accumulated understanding of what is initiating those movements, what is the intent behind those movements, and what is the consequences of those movements, and all this is in the third eye. In the third eye. In the third eye. So the, the thousand petal lotus is the self, the divine self, the shining self. And, you know, we have the zero, it appears to be nothing, you know, but it's love returning back to the self, you know, the universal intellect, you know, all the points, but the ability to focus on one point, Now moving on that one point, we then get the first and the second dimensions. I've seen that point move and we draw you know, the cartoon image and we see the course of events. We see the image in our minds, the situation. situation in our third eyes, the video signal, so there's no change in, 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 in the thousand petal lotus in the self, but there is change in our understanding, in our point of view, in our perception, which is all down to the third eye, and this is largely, you know, focused by the oxytocin, the you know the the love the love potion that makes us fix on a certain face our mother and follow the movements of the mother to to seek the breast, the love of the mother, the food, natural instinct. When we come down to the fifth chakra, the throat where well, we have to be in a certain space at a certain time. This is the sound, the audio track, the soundtrack to our lives. The soundtrack so we can tell what time of day it is, what, whether, whether we should be getting up or going to bed. The bells, the routines. But this is keeping our word, this is the words you know, the appropriate words in the routines, in the relationships. So there we have this movement. So there we have the video signal, the audio signal. The video signal we see movement and intent and we can understand intent that 
somebody's initiated this movement and this movement has got that intent and we're having consequences if you follow that movement here we have the audio signal when you feel like you agree or you commit to the intent in, in the relationships back into the collective into the whole mind into the universal intellect and then we have the actual flow of things actual flow of things in other words the the feeling and the naming of objects and, and the construction of objects so we have changes on these where these three pairs where these lines intersect these are actual balances these three three pairs uh, the, you know the video, the audio, and the pressure signals, and they're the ones where we, how we experience life. You know the moving of objects, working with objects here, the being in certain places at certain times here, and then the imagining and the visualizing and the plan and the planning, the focusing on the intent, your point of view there, so those three levels is where this change and where there's you know, integration so we have to integrate those three levels so we're moving the objects in the right place at the right time and we're seeing that we're moving them into the right place at the right time so we so that our senses are integrated so these are the, the dimensions and the dimensions are fundamental and then the fundamental dimensions give rise to the entoptics as the numbers so that's a tunnel which is the one a two is a face, a surface, a three is the wave, the water, we smell the water, there's a grid, the checkerboard, which is the oscillation, the dark and light, the checkerboard, which is hearing in sound, Here we have the eyes, the rays, the stars, the wheel of the sheet and spiral, which is the touch, the pressure. Then seven is the zigzag, you know, the corners of objects. And the objects are a pressure map. So here we, we've got hands and we're feeling the, feeling the object. And here we're fitting it into position. There we're feeling the compatibility of the time. Is it the right time? And there we're seeing whether it's the right, you know, right surface, the right object. So we, we have an integrated system, you know, integrating our consciousness with what we see and what we feel. And what we consider to be chakras are actually the same energy centers as, as from the tree of meaning. There isn't a separate system. You get the dimensions. And then, then the, the, the dimension structure, the three signals. Then the three signals construct the ten dimensions integrated. And then the chakras show the balances of these energy centers the chakras are these energy centers and the main energy centers are these three crossing points where we like experience this flow of events of the video audio and 
pressure signals. Those are the main chakras, the, the, the navel, the throat, and the third eye. The third eye is what we're imagining, what we're seeing, our point of view. This is our word, and keeping our word in the throat. And this is the, 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 the flow of things, the objects that we're seeking and constructing and imagining. So there's an, an, and then there's an emotional relationship with these objects and with the words and, and with the intent. So everything is obviously emotionally coloured and intense and that is also integrated back into the pressure which is the, the emotional centre. And the pressure is the flow, of, the, the flow of things which you feel in our stomach. So the Tai Chi Chuan says you should lead with the stomach so you're dealing with the pressure of life, of the objects in life, as you flow amongst them. So you lead with the stomach. Then your heart is stable, you're centered, you're seeing good, you're seeing harmony. Then you have the audio signal for keeping your word, keeping the appointment hearing the sound so that you be, you can tell from the sound of the voice the state and mind of the person, the state of play. And then there's the actual flow of your imagination, the images in your mind that come into your mind in the third eye. And again there's the, the you know, the, the self, the, the the thousand petal lotus, the shining self, samadhi, the universal intellect, sentience. So the chakras arise from the structure of the dimensions, the mind, you know, our ability to see and feel arises from the structure of the dimensions by their interconnectedness in the, the, three, tri the three triangles. So the, the dimensions give rise to the chakras as the energy flow and then that is then projected or arranged according to our sensory input and then there's our personality output as we interact with each other from these senses or from these centers. So remember this is the Kabbalah the received teaching, the teaching we have received from our gurus. The teaching we have received from cosmic beings. And the key is to understand that this structure is pre-verbal. It is not a dogma, a mind control that I am laying on you. Once you understand this structure, that will free your imagination for other purposes and other uses and other understandings. What is, I'm telling you is this teaching I have received, the Kabbalah, the, a teaching that will set you free by understanding The, abs the absolute nature of the structure of reality being based on the ten dimensions. That the higher dimensions are the first three dimensions. If you like, that there's the first, the second, and the fifth, the eye that sees that two dimensional quantum level. And that gives us the center, the heart. And then the heart is dr driven, if you like, by the sexual center, 
or the energy which determines the space and the time. So remember we've got the intent driving our imagination. We've, we've got our hearts, if you like, trapped in space and time being driven by our sexuality. And then we've got our body uh, stuck in the flow of things, in the world of things. So this is our structure of our minds, of our integrated minds.